Hi, Audrey Williams here, your Techie Feely voiceover artist. With the start of the new year, I thought we should take a grand tour of the solar system for the next few episodes. Our first stop is in the sun's backyard, the planet Mercury. Seems like a good place to start. I'm glad you're here. Mercury is small. It's only about as wide as the United States, but it's fast. It rotates around the sun in just 88 Earth days. But here's the paradox. Its year is short. Its day is incredibly long. It rotates so slowly that one day on Mercury, from one sunrise to the next, lasts 176 Earth days. That's two full Mercury years to rotate once. The earliest known recorded observations were probably made by an Assyrian astronomer around the 14th century BC. In ancient China, Mercury was known as the Our Star. The Romans named the planet after the messenger god Mercury, who was equated with the Greek god Hermes because it moves across the sky faster than any other planet. Let's talk about planetary symbols. You've probably seen them. The original symbols date to Greco-Roman times, and the astronomers used them to identify the planets, and their modern forms developed in the 16th century, with additional symbols created later for newly discovered planets. They aren't used in astronomy scientific publications any longer, but you see them all around. This is Mercury's. It's a caduceus, a staff intertwined with two serpents, Sometime after the 11th century, a cross was added to the bottom of the staff to Christianize the symbol. Mercury is fascinating. It has a solid iron core, a very thin atmosphere, and has temperatures ranging from 800 degrees Fahrenheit on the side facing the sun to negative 290 degrees on the dark side. It really is a land of fire and ice, temperature-wise. It also looks a lot like our moon. Billions of years of impacts have scarred it all over its surface. But see those long, wrinkly cliffs? They're called lobate scarps, and they tell the story. As the iron core cooled and contracted, the planet literally shrank, causing its crust to buckle and crack. Next up, we're going to explore the planet often called Earth's twin. Until then, I'll keep looking up and wondering, how true is that statement? And remember, the sky is not the limit. See you next time.